Today's March 7th, today's quote is called Pride and Pretense. This is from the Hari Bhakti Shuddhodaya of the Naradiya Purana. Who can conquer pride? It is unconquerable even by great personalities. Having attacked in many ways, the fire of pride resides within men, continuously destroying the auspiciousness in their lives. So, this, what this verse is explaining is that as we all know, because we all are conditioned souls, pride is extremely powerful, extremely difficult to deal with and difficult to overcome. And so, you know, a lot of times when we look at our faults, we feel maybe number one, that we're especially bad. Number two, we have a lot of them. Number three, we're, we're worried that we'll never be able to overcome them. So the idea of this verse is, number one, to allow all of us to know that we are not unique, that everyone is challenged by pride. Number two, to understand how difficult it is to overcome. And for us as devotees, number three, to know only by Krishna's mercy, the mercy of Guru, and the power of Bhakti, would we ever be able to overcome pride. Just like in Gita 7.14, Krishna says, Mama Maya Dharadhyaya. So Mama Maya, my Maya is insurmountable. So all the aspects of Maya, pride being one, lust, greed, jealousy, envy, and so forth, we understand how difficult they are to overcome. For a materialistic person, they're insurmountable. And sometimes for us, it seems almost insurmountable. So what these verses do is they remind us that yes, if you're not Krishna conscious, it is insurmountable. And the fact that we're all dealing with, with it and we, we feel personally that it is a bit insurmountable, the fact is that this is the reality of being in the material world. So we shouldn't be surprised that it's difficult. We shouldn't be surprised when we see pride or the desire to be honored swelling up in us. We should acknowledge that that, as we said yesterday, that is part of what it means to be a conditioned soul. That's really the essence of what it means. So everyone's dealing with it, the materialist and the spiritualist. It is what Everyone has to deal with it. It's why we're here. So, this verse is asking the question. What did it ask the question? Who can conquer pride? Can great personalities conquer it? No. And you see in Bhagavatam, sometimes great personalities are offended. Their false ego is hurt. They respond in very abusive ways, even though generally they're quite sattvic. And generally they're considered moonies or sages, but then when rubbed the wrong way, they become really upset and really hurt or really offended. So that's the nature of material consciousness. That's, that's what we're dealing with. So what I hope you get from today's quote is the reality that we are, as devotees, trying to conquer what generally would be considered unconquerable by anyone. And only by the mercy of Guru and Krishna will we ever be able to overcome this desire to be honored, which is just, it's kind of a constant, uh, what should we say? A con like, a, like a child who's constantly bothering somebody, bothering the parents, give me this, give me that, give me. So false ego's like, give me, give me, give me. Wants to eat and wants to be fed acknowledgement, recognition, honor, and so forth. So, so that's what we have to deal with being conditioned souls, but at least have faith that if you become Krishna conscious, gradually you'll be able to overcome your, your desire to be honored. <laughs>